How many of you ladies struggle with perfectionism and the all or nothing style thinking where, you know, you're either good or you're bad, it's black or it's white, right? It's perfect or you're a failure. I speak to so many women, I have so many clients who come to me with this style of thinking. And the truth is this all or nothing style of thinking, it's unrealistic, it's rigid, and it really is feeding into that perfectionist mentality, which as we know, there is no such thing as perfection, but there's just so many of us out there that really you go all in, you go all in with that thinking or you're all out. And where does that lead you? It, it really leads you into a negative space. You can feel like a failure. You feel like things are going really poorly in your life. So in this video today, I really want to help you learn how to shift that style of thinking. So stick around because we're going to get into that. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Angelica Ventrice. I'm a mindset, business and wellness coach. So welcome. So let me give you an example that I notice a lot from coaching so many women in body transformation. And I'm sure you can relate to this. Have you ever perhaps started a diet and you're doing really good? Your gut, like you're clean all week. Everything is perfect. You're hitting your macronutrients. You're getting about the proper amount of protein, fats, and carbs and veggies, and you're hitting your water. And then the weekend comes and you go out with your girlfriends. You have a late night, you eat some pizza, you eat some ice cream, you had too many drinks. And then the next day you're like, you know what? I'm done with this eating clean. Forget it. Like that's it. I'll start next week. I'll start next month. I'll start next year. Can you relate? I'm sure that that has happened to you. It's happened to me in the past. Perhaps it's happened in your business, right? Perhaps you went to launch a new product or launch a new program and maybe no one signed up and you were like, Oh, you know what? I'm a failure. I'm just not cu cut out for this, this entrepreneurship thing. Or perhaps you went to go on a date with, with a guy or a female and you know, the person didn't, didn't text you back and you're like, you know what? I, I'm not, I'm not worthy. I can't do this dating thing. I'll never find a partner. And your mind just goes to all the negative places in all or nothing thinking. Like I said earlier, you are very black or white. There's no gray. And what you tend to do when you're in this all or nothing mindset space, you tend to go to the negative. So if something doesn't go your way or you got a little bit off track in your life, in your diet, in your workouts, in whatever part in your business, your mind goes to, I'm a failure, I'm not worthy, I can't do this. And you use words like, I always, I never, I shouldn't, I can't. And then these words really do start to shape your reality and you might start to feel like you're in a negative energetic space as well. So what we really need to do here with the all or nothing approach and what I really want you to start to focus on is instead of saying it's either good or bad, it's good and bad. You see, what we forget is that life is full of dualities. So you can feel pain and then you can feel joy. I'll give you an example. My father is very, very ill near death. And obviously I'm very, very sad, but at the same time, I'm experiencing moments of joy and elation in my life, starting a new program for my business coaching, going uh, on a helicopter tour with my boyfriend over Maui, something we've never done. These are really joyous moments. So it's not like I only have joy because I do have sadness around my father, right? So it's important to remember with the all or nothing approach that that's not realistic. It's not life because life is full of dualities where there's sadness, there is joy, right? Where there's excitement, there's also maybe some depression or lulls, right? So it's very, it's vital that you drill this into your head. Think of duality, duality, duality. And instead of saying, it's good or bad. It's good and replace all your oars with ends. Life is good and bad. My nutrition this week was good and bad. In business, there are moments where I freaking love being an entrepreneur. It's fucking amazing. And then there's other times where I want to fucking cry or I do cry, I actually do cry or I curse or, or all the things, right? So just because some days I think it's going bad, doesn't mean that it's bad overall because there's the good and the bad. Does that make sense, ladies? I hope that's a good shift for you. So start replacing your or with end. 
And then some other questions you can ask yourself when this type of thinking comes up where like, you know, you've gotten off your clean eating or something happened at work and your mind goes to like, oh my God, I hate this job. Or, oh my God. Well, maybe you don't actually hate this job. Maybe you're just having a bad day, right? Maybe you don't actually hit this like this. It's just this one little piece. So it's really doing the end and not the or. But some questions you can ask yourself are, is this true? Like, is this my truth? What I tell my clients is when they're feeling these things, like when they're feeling not worthy or they want to give up or they feel like they're a failure, what is my truth? That's what I say. To, I tell them to ask themselves, what is my truth? And then I think like, all right, let me think of some positive things about myself. I'm not a failure. Have I perhaps failed? I don't really believe in failure. I think that mistakes are magical. I think that in failure, there are lessons. And you know, I've launched programs that no one has signed up for. I've launched programs that I've had hundreds sign up for. So does that mean I'm a failure because I launched a program and no one signed up? No one signed up? Not really. It means that I'm learning something and maybe it wasn't the right fit, the right time, the right marketing, who knows, but I'm learning from it and I'm using these little instances as lessons rather than being having black and white thinking and saying, I'm a failure, this didn't go my way. There's a big difference, right? So what is my truth? What is your truth? Next question, am I being too hard on myself? Probably gonna answer yes, because all or nothing thinking is also perfectionist thinking. And if you're a high achieving perfectionist, like a lot of the women that I work with, you need to ask yourself, am I being too hard on myself? And the answer is most likely going to be yes. Am I seeing myself for my true highest self in the most positive light? So what are some positive, amazing things that you can write down about yourself? So when you're having this all or nothing thinking pump up, what is my truth? Am I being too hard on myself? myself? What are some things that I love about myself that I'm proud of? I'm proud of this. I've accomplished this. I'm able to do this, right? Are you actually acknowledging all the amazing things that you have accomplished in your life that you're good at, that you feel good about? Or are you just sitting in the, well, I didn't do this, I didn't do this, so I'm, I'm a failure and I'm not worthy. Really, really important to distinguish. Really, really important to work on because this all or nothing mindset, all or nothing approach to life, to business, to health is really gonna keep you stuck. It's really gonna keep you in a box and you can only get so far because you're constantly beating yourself up and you're constantly looking for a level of perfection that as we know, does not exist. So you're better off existing in dualities and that is something that I work on with my clients. So really learning how to harness their personal power and exist in multiple dualities. Like I said, my dad is very ill, but I'm harnessing my personal power and I'm able to still feel moments of joy while feeling moments of grief. So it's really learning how to exist in both because there's the end and not the the or. If you want to learn more, go ahead and click the link in the description box. box. You can fill out an application, set up a call with me or one of my coaches, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.